Oh, hello. Uh, good afternoon. It's um, Thursday, November the 16th. And uh, it was a beautiful day yesterday. Oh, is it bad today? It's chucked it down. Oh, cats and dogs. As they say in the UK, raining like cats and dogs. So, uh, welcome to uh, Dave's Workshop. Oh, this might become a feature, actually, in the winter. You never know. Uh, temperature outside. Outside, it's 13 degrees centigrade, which is about 50 plus 55 or 56 Fahrenheit in US terms. In the, uh, in the workshop, Dave's workshop, it is uh, 19 degrees centigrade. Work that out for yourself. Maths isn't my forte. Anyway. Uh, you know, I had a problem the other day with a uh, with the um, hedge trimmers uh, on my Stiga multifunction petrol thermic device. Um, I found the issue. Um, I thought it was just a simple loose fitting. Uh, it wasn't a loose fitting. It was an integral structural failure, which um, yeah. I've had I've had the thing about six months, I think, from brand new um, via Amazon um, from the manufacturer, believe it or not. So, um, yeah, it's uh, the failure. I'll show you what the failure is. This internal gear. Right. Let me just give you a heads up. It's from this machine here. And it's, I've taken it apart. I don't know whether you can see. It goes in inside there. It's well greased. I grease it every time after use. And be, well, I check it before use. You can't see in there. Can you see in there now? There are bits everywhere. In that one, it's not so bad. It's not so bad. So, the gear that came out of there is this. If I can focus in. Focus in. You can see that the teeth have sheared. Hence, it's causing the every time I rev it up. So, I think I'm going to write to Stiga. Send them some photographs of this gear and say i've had this six months i've used it about four times what the hell are you playing at and hopefully they'll send me something oh the equivalent back to me for free i've got i've registered the warranty anyway but the multi-purpose tool i've got it has has the bush cutter blade you can't see that the light's not brilliant in here it's this Stiga thing it's okay it's not the most powerful but you have extensions like this and on these extensions they just clip in and uh, you have a hedge cutter you have a chainsaw and you have uh, a multi head for the bush cutter and the strimmer which is great. Well, it has been good so far. A bit problematic on starting sometimes, but that's the same with everything. So, has uh, anyone else suffered um, with this um, problem with Stiga devices? Because I thought they were a good manufacturer. Um, I've used them. I, when, I, when I worked at the Chateau, that most of their stuff was um, Stiga. Or, or still, still, um, st some of the still stuff, their chainsaws, I couldn't get, couldn't get on with the chainsaws, but the bush cutter, the bush cutter was really, really good. So I might end up having to look around for a second hand still, um, bush cutter, 
um, because I can't afford a new one. Um, and I've got three and a half acres of, of, of land where it needs maintenance. So I, I, I need to think out of the box. I've, I need a bush cutter pretty much immediately. Not a bush cutter. I need a hedge trimmer. Now I'm thinking again on a petrol one. Um, not too expensive. So I need recommendations. Um, some of the German manufacturer, ma manufactured um, devices, petrol trimmers and stuff like that, are pretty good. Einhill I've heard are quite good, but I'm not, I'm not sure. McCulloch, are they any good? So, um, I'll let you know what happens. So, that's me signing off for today. Catch you later. Like and sus subscribe. I'm struggling with my words. Until next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.